Well, what's going on, everybody? I admittedly am not really looking forward to this particular part of the story. Uh, this is not only upsetting, but uh, I think this is a defining moment for Hawk. One of many defining moments. My Hawk is uh, pretty strong, obviously, and uh, resilient to things. But this is uh, just a little bit over the top. Um, there's going to be a lot of ammo gathered here against mages in general and this is aside from their Templar issue and this is um, inexcusable because it, it falls well outside the whole um, you know all the turmoil that they're having in the circles and stuff like that like this is a completely unrelated thing this just has to do with um, some people being bad people um, really yeah it, 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 it really does focus on mages and you'll see and I I you know, I've kind of dreaded this a little bit. Actually, been putting this off just a little bit. Um, in fact, the video I uploaded last wasn't even really part of the Let's Play. It was from actually a, a video or two from now. Just a little, you know, fight with the air shock. I was pretty proud. I beat the air shock solo in oh less than fifteen minutes. <laughs> Usually takes a lot of kiting around, which I did some of that, but uh, went a little faster than normal. And uh, I was pretty pretty happy with myself on that one, but. Uh, but to be honest, I just wanted to avoid this because uh, getting into this, I, I tend to get heated. Um, I know it sounds like I, I, I pick on mages more than the Templars because I, I see the Templars for what they are. And um, there's only so much you can talk about the obvious. You know, you've got, you've got some thugs in polished helms abusing their authority, right? And then when you have an order that's so open for just anyone and everyone to come in, um, I think some law enforcement agencies today have that problem where the uh, oh the requirements to join are, are either so lax or so um, poorly uh, administered or observed you know by the people who are responsible for uh, you know setting out the net you know to filter out the undesirables you know to put them in positions of authority where you know people can walk around and they have you know a license to carry a gun and they can use it you know and they need to because there's other people out there that shouldn't have guns um, that, you know, you're really happy when a cop is standing between you and that person, um, when it comes down to it, because a lot of times, you know, these cops are basically frontline soldiers on our streets every day, right? And so there is that side of it. Yeah, it's real easy to bash the cops until you actually need one, and then you're really, really happy they're there, right? So there is throwing that in there, right? But when the, uh, when the net to decide who's going to be one, um, is so loose and open that basically anyone can fall through, um, and here in Kirkwall, we see a organization that uh, encourages um, all that kind of filthy behavior. Now, we did learn something um, nearby when we went to go release Corypheus from his prison just so we could kick his ass. Uh, and not knowing, of course, that um, that is exactly what he wanted so that he could get free. Us not being aware that he could just basically travel from body to body, which we learned in Inquisition, right? But... Um, you know, we didn't know that. All we know is we were, you know, kicking his ass and trying to end evil once and for all and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, Kirkwall's proximity to Corypheus, and I think the, the Red Lyrium plays a huge part of that. Um, we'll see the Red Lyrium play a big part with the Templars um, in the not-too-distant future. Um, his proximity here is uh, one reason. I don't know if it's necessarily a reason or cause, but it's definitely an influence as to why people are acting the way they do in Kirkwall. There's even a codex that specifically says that. It says, you know, uh, Corypheus being nearby, it's no coincidence that the um, crime rate, that the abominable acts, that the number of blood mages and the number of people doing what they do in Kirkwall, you know, it's, it's no coincidence. And so we see Corypheus' influence spreading out, and it's obviously a bad one. You know, a lot of people dying that shouldn't have to, a lot of people getting hurt that shouldn't have to at the hands of other people who shouldn't be doing what they're doing. And these are the people that are in power, right? When the thugs are running the show, yeah, you know, shit just goes downhill. And so that's what you have here. Anyway, I, I see that, you know, and, and that's obvious. But the mages, um, I see a lot of sympathy towards the mages as, as if they're, quote unquote, so abused and misunderstood. I'll get into that. The says you're still chasing disappearing acts. That's not funny. I need your help urgently. I've spent the past few years continuing my investigation into the murders of Nanette, Marin, and the other women. I believe I finally have a suspect. A man called Gascard Dupuy. Dupuy? That's a funny name. It's Olesian. 
I believe he is descended from nobility. When I became convinced of his guilt, I went to the city guard and demanded that they do something. My men raided that house. There was nothing, and I've heard no end because of it. You were reprimanded, I hope. Meredith forbade me from continuing my investigation. But she didn't say I couldn't seek outside help. Were you the only person investigating these murders? Yes, unfortunately. The Templar Order believes this is a matter for the City Guard. And the City Guard? Well, they rejected my evidence and dismissed the murders as isolated incidents. They don't care either. I've seen your evidence. Scattered notes, conjecture, nothing remotely usable. You can't expect us to act on your hunches alone. Look what happened when we did. The guards who searched Gascard's place were incompetent. They didn't know what they were looking for. Fine, if you insist. I retrieved a sack of human remains for you. Didn't you show it to the guard? I did. They said the remains could have been gathered together by scavengers looking for bits of gold and jewelry. They said there was no way to tell if the remains even belonged to the missing women. I'm sorry, Emmerich, but that's the truth of it. What have you learned about Gaspard Dupree? He's a reclusive nobleman who's rarely seen outside his estate in Hightown. He knew two of the murdered women and made inquiries about the others. It cannot be a coincidence. It should be investigated, at least. Thank you. I faced nothing but ridicule. To hear someone say that is... encouraging. What do you need me to do? I knew I could count on you. You'll need to go to Gascard Dupuis' estate after nightfall. Please figure out what Dupuis is hiding. If he's innocent, find evidence to prove me wrong. It's just that simple. And you do have some exceptions to the rule. Not, you know, all the Templars are corrupt, but the ones up top are. And the same goes with the mages. The ones up top are. Orsino is, is a piece of crap in every single absolute way, by every definition of the word. And we will prove that, beyond the shadow of a doubt, here. And in times to come. But uh, he's got a lot of mages under him, and I guess some that weren't corrupted are now due directly to his influence. I have a strong suspicion that he is the one that was trying to bind that really, really powerful demon to Fenrail to turn Fenrail into a weapon. At the cost of Fenrail's life, of course, but Orsino wouldn't be worried about that because it's the cause of his quote-unquote mage rebellion, which is just, let's kill everybody. And uh, really doesn't have anything to do with the Templars anymore. It has to do with doing Corypheus will. And, uh, yeah, accepting that responsibility is something that Orsino's not going to be willing to do. So... Uh, I can see we're going to have to eventually deal with him and Meredith also, right? It's you know it's not a oh if you're siding with them then you're siding with if you're siding against them then you must be siding with these and no, I'm not siding with either. They're both equally wrong in equal measure in uh, many of the same and even different ways. But uh, it's yeah both are wrong, you know. And so, uh, but the the mages they. Uh, where, when they're defended, it, it, it upsets me because it, it goes beyond just the game. It's like, wow, how could you, how could you overlook these things here? You know, what would you allow into your life for real if here in this game you would, you would take this obvious corruption and, and find some way to validate it or, or make it acceptable or excuse it? And that's, 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 that's not right. I mean, it, I go, wow, you know, there's certain things which are just across the line and to try to make those things seem right. Or not so bad. That's, uh, it's it's wow. It's kind of infuriating sometimes. I I'm I'm under the the personal belief that um, when you come to the defense of something, you take side with that thing, right? And you put you're basically placing your name on that. And I think a lot of people, the internet is responsible for a lot of this. If you um, defend something or take part in an argument, throw your opinion out there, it's okay because you're not held accountable for it. If your opinion is bad or even damaging, right? Or if, if the side that you side with is absolutely wrong and evil and you come to find that out later, you're not accountable. You don't suffer the consequences. You just, you know, oh, well, okay, I was wrong and just, just brush it off. 
All right. Well, people's lives are at stake. You know, when you're talking about a situation like you have here, um, taking a side with something and finding out later that it was absolutely wrong and that it, yeah, it was, as a matter of fact, just as bad as everyone says it was, right? Um, what do you do? Are, are you accountable for that? Do you make your, do you hold yourself accountable for that? You know, like if, if I defend somebody and I find out that they actually really were wrong all along, then I have to at some point question myself, not just that person. All right, so we're here at the Dupuy State. Um, thank you kindly for your shipment. It arrived in almost perfect condition. The requested payment is on its way. Okay, so I guess uh, I'm not sure what the shipment is. Possibly. There's something else for Gas Guard. What we think Gascard may be guilty of here, I don't think he is, but he's guilty in, in just about everything else, which we'll see. Doesn't excuse him or his actions or what he is, um, but I don't think he's necessarily part of what we're we're investigating here. Not directly. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, these shades aren't here by coincidence. Sorry, when you got demons guarding your door, then, well, okay, you're blood mage, so... That's, that pretty much speaks for itself, but a reply from Stark Haven. This is in regards to your inquiry into missing mages. I'd like to remind you the duty of seeking out missing mages. Or to begin with, would fall to the Templars of Stark Haven. Hmm. Okay, probably compatriots. Uh, I, I believe Gaspard. I, I'm not. I'm not exactly sure. You know, I couldn't just specifically define his link to the Mage Rebellion. And when I say Mage Rebellion, I'm talking about the Blood Mages who were trying to subvert the Circle and start a war. And if the Templars don't start it, they'll start it, and they'll make the Templars look guilty to start it. Although the Templars don't need any help in that. I mean, they are they are guilty in a lot of what they do. The rapes and the murders and the, and the friggin' serial abuse and stuff. And so if you come over here, um, we get Meryl's authority to understand that this is Blood Magic. And a, a rune. Okay, well, that's cool. It's kind of an added bonus. It seems like there was a there was a trophy or achievement for for making one of everything. One of each kind of item. And, of course, you'd need all the rune schematics, which means you'd need to be thorough in the game and collect everything in order to make them. I believe that was the case. Now, what do we have here? Oh wow, Meredith actually personally apologizing. Someone must have risen it for her. That's strange. Interesting. I haven't seen any sign of a woman's touch in this house. Whose clothes are these? Perhaps these belong to a family member. Women's clothing here. But there's no women here. Okay. Okay, well, we got a predator of some sort here. It doesn't really matter what he it did and didn't do. We know what he is, so we'll deal with that accordingly. Maybe we can get a little information out of him first. Help me! Please! He's gone bad! You're not... You're not him. Shit, I... I know what this looks like, but I didn't hurt her. So the wild-eyed hysteria is just for show, then? You don't understand. Someone is after her. I had to keep her safe. I don't know why you're here, but there's a killer out there, and I think he's playing us both. Just... just let me explain. All right. We'll see if you can talk yourself out of this. Several years ago, my sister was murdered. The bastard's now in Kirkwall, killing again. The same way he killed my sister. It starts with a bouquet of white lilies. He sends them to each new victim. Alessa was going to be next. I took her, so he'd have to come to me. I was finally going to face my sister's killer, but then you showed up. He's lying! He hurt me! I've explained this. I need your blood to track you down. If he took you, it was for your protection. 
And she's being used as bait. She'll go Simple. straight to the city guard. They'll ruin everything. Who killed your sister? A powerful and experienced blood mage. I believe he uses the women for some ritual. His victims are attractive, healthy women with few social ties. Can't you just tell the city guard what you told me? Yes, can't you? Why? I don't want him arrested. This isn't about justice. I need to be the one to bleed him dry. Selfish oh, you want his power. Shit. How many of you risked by keeping this to yourself? Emmerich was certain you were the killer. Of course he was. But I was trying to find the killer just like him. Our paths crossed and he just assumed I was the murderer. You really did make yourself a target, though. Kidnapping people and all. I suppose that's fair. I could report you to the Templars for blood magic. Uh, yes, I've used blood magic and lyrium to augment my powers. I'm not proud of what I've done, but I had to. He took my sister from me. Nice story, but I don't buy it. No, I've worked too hard. It can't end like this. Every blood mage has an emo little excuse for killing lots of innocent people. Don't you think all the brothers of those sisters you killed might be missing their sisters too? Piece of shit. Just remember this, for every demon that you see a blood mage raise, they've killed an innocent person to bind that demon. Alright, so how, let's see how many, let me see how many come up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Alright, so his murder toll is now at seven so far. We haven't even left the room yet. Just keep that in mind. Yeah, killing this blood mage for killing your sister would be justice. I I'm, totally agree with that. Killing everyone else to augment your power. Okay. That's that's where demons are at work. They're like, well, if, if you really want to get revenge, here, do this. But you're going to have to kill 20 more innocent people to get it. And if you're all blinded by your emotions because you've completely lost your mind, well, there you have it. And that's what we have here. All right, so, so far we have almost a dozen innocents killed by this blood mage to bind almost a dozen demons. Let's see how many more demons we get. One, two, three. Okay. Let's just say, let's just make that an even dozen. Although I think we're well over 12. Let's just call this 12 right here. Just make a little point. Alright, doesn't innocent people dead so far at the hands of this mage? Funny thing is, is he was saying, I, I, I don't want justice, I want to bleed him dry. Okay, well, justice would be, you know, getting rid of that blood mage for murder. You know, you didn't, yeah. That's, that's the only solution for that. You aren't going to talk to that blood mage and tell him to start playing nice. Sorry, it just doesn't work like that. Serial criminals just don't 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 act that way. Some people need to be dealt with with a sword. It's just the way it is. Not liking it doesn't make it less so. But uh, he wants to bleed the guy dry. He wants that guy's power, <laughs> essentially, to buy an even more powerful demon. That's all, so this <laughs> this isn't right. Like he just said, it, it isn't about justice. So he has he has no redeeming argument whatsoever. 13, 14, 15, 16, 16. Anyway, we can keep going up. So we, you know, we can assume that just by the number of demons we've met coming in and, uh, now on our way out, trying to catch up with this asshole. Um, that's the death toll. You know, that's that's the amount of blood on this guy's hands. All right, and we'll just keep seeing that. Of course, yeah. See the point? And this is uh, yeah. So I'm, I'm, I will go so far as to say when it comes to harm done, um, you know, those innocent people, whether they be mages or not, that were killed by this blood mage, right? And many of them probably being mages so that he could use um, them to bind even more powerful demons. Honestly, <laughs> no Templar to blame there. Sorry. And the amount of harm done by this one, one mage would outrank many Templars in the things that they've done. 
Raping some poor innocent maids girl while she's cowering in a corner? That's beyond inexcusable. That Templar should suffer painfully first before before you uh, kill him for that. I, I totally get it. But um, this right here, just the number of innocents taken by this one man. Um, wow, that's a pretty hefty toll considering most blood mages are guilty of this right here. And they, they've got an excuse, but there is no excuse. There isn't one. Just because you just because you say something in, as an excuse doesn't validate it. It doesn't make it an excuse. It's just you talking wind. Trying to justify something that can't be justified. That's where justice comes in. That's where that's where proper judgment. That's where an even balance. That's where um, positive, sane, rational thinking comes in. And you 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 erase this type of crap, right, to make the world a better place. Because this is a cancer. You don't forgive a cancer cell just because it's another cell. You get rid of it. You cut it out. And you throw it away. Because it's it's diseased and it's and it's, and it's killing the whole. Just when this guy isn't sacrificing somebody doesn't make him um, an evil contributor to the world at large. Every breath he takes, every thought he, he thinks, every word he says, everything he does is going to be an abomination. It's going to be a sickness. It's going to spread his cancer. It's his influence. It's his disease that, that radiates from him as he exists and walks among people and, and does things in society and stuff like that. And feeling compassion and pity and sorrow for that makes us wrong, right? He's going he's gonna to continue to be wrong, right? But when we side with that, we, we put our hand to that. We become guilty of the things he does when you defend his actions. Does that make, that's what I'm saying here. And so, sympathizing with these pieces of crap is, is um, bad on our part. Now, I don't sympathize with the Templars. Like I say, they are what they are. Brute thugs who murder and rape people, that, that, that's simple. That's easy, right? But you don't see people uh, showing them compassion, and you shouldn't. But you do see people showing the mages compassion, and you shouldn't. That's my point. No more than you should than you should these Templars. Even less so, really, because I think their death toll is higher. You know, mages are, are the minority. Ma there aren't that many mages, okay? It's not like half the citizens in the world are mages, okay? It's a much smaller percentage of that. But the amount of harm they do far exceeds their uh, their population in the world per capita as far as that goes. So they are capable of doing a whole lot more with their magic, and they do. And it's usually for the bad. And if it's not for the bad, it will be at some point without, like I say, proper training and stuff. And that's really all the Templars are there for. Not to abuse their position to rape little girls, but to, uh, you know, um, basically um, protect first their charges, right? And then discipline them if necessary. Right, but you know that that whole sense of duty has been lost, and we we are aware of that. Is you know the the Templars have fallen just as well as the Circle, just as well as the Seekers, just as well as the Wardens, and that you know that's a point they've made over and over in Dragon Ages. This, these systems of men have failed. Aren't you Hawk? Emmerich left not long ago. He said you'd arrange to meet tonight. Did I tell him that? I must have completely forgotten. Don't you remember sending this message? I didn't send this. You didn't? Strange. Well, I don't know. Emmerich's been acting strangely for months. It's probably just a misunderstanding. Although, usually most of what Anders says is perverted. Um, he did make a comment when we read that letter written to Gaspard, supposedly from Meredith apologizing to a mage, which I, I can't see Meredith doing that either. I think Anders is right. Is you know, Somebody must have written it for her. All right, well, somebody's written this message also. Okay, can we assume it's the, uh, it's the guy who's, um, um, kidnapping and killing all these women? Can we assume that? Or perhaps Orsino, maybe? Oh, how's Orsino involved in this? He's the, he's the Grand Enchanter or whatever. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Like I say, this, um, this, this particular storyline here infuriates me a bit and, and doesn't leave much room in my mind to even hear mage sympathetic arguments. Um, in, in fact, I would say after this, I would have a serious problem with any person sympathizing with the mages in general um, and excusing their actions after what is done here. Because that must mean you, you hate your you hate Hawk. Also. You hate any protagonist in the game, um, as well as Hawk or anything else, to sympathize with this bullshit. I think when seen in light, now that's now that's taking all the facts 
And there's a lot of things which can can easily be ignored or be or one can be unaware of here as regards them, and, and I get that. But once you're aware of those things, and you still sympathize with that, that's uh that's a, that's a serious problem. There's there's a <laughs> there's a major psychological issue at play there. Then, sorry if this is offensive to anyone. It's, it doesn't make it less true. funny like the rest of Bioware games it's you know yeah it's quote unquote just a game but the the principles situations the um the morals and the things that they bring up are very real right imaginary situations but um you know real real issues that we deal with here if I can keep these guys off my mages we do all right you notice that it's pretty much a, a good solid pattern of course everybody's kind of doing their job now you know, mages, mages kiting when they have to. Um, Aveline's drawing more. Look at this. Aveline doing her job. She's over here just like a champ. They cannot kill her fast enough to where Anders can't keep her on her feet. As long as she's doing her job like this. And when one slips away, because one of the mages has pissed them off, then uh, go take them out like an assassin does. There we go. Some mage sent that thing here to kill him. Why would anyone... Oh, maker. The murders. Emmerich was right. He was getting too close. He suspected a man named Gascard Dupuy. Did he do this? I killed Gascard. Then who sent the creature? Whoever did this is a dangerous apostate that Meredith will want found. I will see to it personally. My guardsmen will find Alessa, the woman who was with Gascard. She might still be in danger. Thank you for your help in this matter. If you learn anything more, please come to me. Well, just because you see this as an actual serious threat now doesn't mean everyone else is going to. Getting everyone else to get up off their laurels and do something about this is probably out of the question. So, of course, it comes down to us to take care of it ourselves. Make sure we don't miss any loot. I hate to think that some area like this has a crafting material or something. They will pop up in unlikely places at times. A seemingly completely random little side quest will send you off to, I don't know, a little section of trail down by the coast or something. And uh, there you'll have it. Some silverite or some or calcium or something just sitting off to the side. And if you don't get it then, you don't get it at all. Well, with the Black Emporium here... You do have an opportunity to buy it later if you need it. I would say wait to the end of the game, and um, if you if you feel you've been everywhere and done everything, and you're still missing one or two things, then uh, go to the Black Emporium and see what that thing is. You may be short, like I don't know, one lyrium or one silverite or something like that. Enchantment. No, Leandra, Leandra. Shouting won't make him understand you better, you know. There you are. Where's your mother? Is she feeling all right? I'm sure she's all right. Why are you so upset? Your mother didn't show up for our weekly visit. Is she ill? She is here, isn't she? No, Gamlin. We haven't seen her all day. Where could she be? With her suitor, perhaps? Suitor? Leandra never mentioned a suitor. Well, those lilies arrived for her this morning. White lilies. I know something about that. Don't just leave me waiting. What is it? There's a killer in Kirkwall who sends his victims white lilies before he takes them. He's murdered several women already. No. You're wrong. Leandra is fine. Ignoring the facts doesn't change them. You don't know for sure that she's in trouble. Maybe... Maybe Leandra took another path to my house. I could have just missed her. I'm going back to Lowtown. You should help Gamlin look for your mother. You might be able to track her more easily once night falls and the streets empty out. All right. The boy and I will stay here in case she returns. 
You've had luck on your travels? There's another letter waiting on your desk at your leisure. Okay, so we've gotten to a certain point in the game where that uh, quest finally pops up, apparently. Or Orlesian merchant, I, I'm not going to say buddy, but the bone pit owner, he uh, he should be back now. I'm wondering when he'd pop back up. I've checked back at the market a few times, and uh, the stall is always empty. Wait, wait. You say you saw Leander? I, t I told you already. I saw her. Did you see where she went? What do I get for telling you? Poor kid is poor and Here's destitute. Beaten. Buy yourself some food. And new shoes. And, uh, <gasps> That's real silver, that is. I'm your man, through and through. Tell you everything I know. That lady was here. She looked like she was going to take the bridge to Hightown. But then a man came up to her. He stumbled and fell over right at her feet like he was dead. His hands were all bloody like he'd been in a fight. The lady shook him. And I think he said, help. She got him to his feet and he was wobbly. Uh, it, it was funny. Anyway, they left and that's all I saw. What did the man look like? He was a man. He had hair and a nose. And nice clothes. But they were all stained from the blood. Ah. I never thought I'd curse my mother's kind heartedness. You could be wrong about all of this. Maybe the flowers don't mean anything. The man left some blood. Where he fell over. You could follow it. Why don't you do what the boy says? I'm going to go home in case Leandra shows up. Never thought I'd say this, but Gamlin's right. My men can look for Leandra while we check the blood. Any lead helps. This blood is fresh. There are lingering traces of... something. I think this was used for blood magic. Yeah, lingering traces. Demonic traces. This place feels strange. Wrong. This is where you found Meryl. the human remains all those years Meryl's ago. Meryl's not naive. We should have known there was something else here. Mother must be here somewhere. We need to look around. I saw the guy running last time and we didn't chase him. Oh. And this is what you get for not killing people in due time. For not exacting justice. Anyone against the death penalty promotes this type of thing. They are here somewhere. And if that's offensive, good. I'm glad. Because this type of stuff flourishes when you don't get rid of it. Sending it to prison doesn't get rid of it. Sending it to prison feeds it and takes care of it and gives it three hots and a cot, which is more than some of our soldiers get. Think about that. Uh... This is my opportunity to be politically correct, i.e., tell the truth. Okay, I don't want to go into the hidden hatch yet. I'm going to look around here a little bit more. I think there's some other stuff to uncover here. Oh, maybe a lock to pick, that'd be great. But, uh, or not. Oh well. I'm not looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to killing some shit, but I'm not looking forward to this. Over here. All right, we we met this situation before. We already know we're probably gonna get attacked by uh, demons or something down here, right? And probably a horde of them. Remember, for every demon summoned here, that's the person who this pers this guy has killed and. Sacrifice to bind this particular demon to his service so that he can kill more people. I 
I guess it could be said maybe if Templars could do this to kill mages, the more fanatical ones at least, maybe they would do that also. No real doubts about that. Wow, these uh, Rage Demons are worse than some of those friggin' Karta Assassins, aren't they? Disappearing and reappearing and all that crap. Let's see how quickly we can take these guys down. Keep them off my mages. Can't do much about the Rage Demon because he won't sit still long enough for me to kill him. And for every demon you kill, that means that not only was a person killed needlessly, right? To bind them, but then definitely needlessly, because now that the demon's destroyed, then we just have just a lot of dead people. <laughs> That's really all this amounts to. It's a shame. did with her or is she just a, a dead collateral quick land reserve her feet okay I didn't notice that the feet were missing on the body but or maybe it wasn't talking about her at all like I say maybe she's just one that he didn't need it so it's just an unfortunate extra death. I wonder if the husbands and children and people left behind huh, speaking of uh, crafting materials, there we go. Might miss their loved ones. You think? Long slender fingers, fair skin. Okay, so now hands. Feet and hands. Mother's locket. Oh, this isn't a good sign. It's kind of stating the obvious. None of this is a good sign. Seriously. Good spot to save right here. And here's his lair. A male family shield. I wonder what my family shield is doing here. Hmm. That's a good question. This dude wouldn't be rate related to one of our previous relatives? Wouldn't think. That would just make this even more insidious if that were possible. And this is where Tempest comes in handy. Which should have been used a lot more often earlier. I had my tactics messed up. I think I got a good solid build going here. My, my party's acting like it's supposed to now. I can safely say that. Meryl's just an absolute champ over there, isn't she? What a beast. Oh, this race team's gonna kick my ass. I'm gonna piss them off. So oh, I meant to drink a potion. Oh, well, there we go. Just gonna drink it for me. Getting the buttons mixed up with Inquisition and <laughs> other games. Going back and forth from one game to the next, it gets confusing sometimes. That's funny. These rage demons, man. There you go. Take that. Oh, wow. Okay, she's got some health, for real. Okay, let's do some looking around here, and this is where it gets really bad. As if it wasn't really bad already. What is this? Oh, that's a pretty little shrine. That woman in the portrait looks like Leandra, doesn't she? A shrine dedicated to a wife? A sister? I need to find her. Now. Good guess, Anders. Something you might do? Freak. A letter from the circle. I have obtained the books you requested. I'll leave them at our usual hiding spot. Please collect them. 
Your last letter was fascinating. You have proven me wrong once again by doing the impossible from Orsino. Any letter from the circle signed O is from Orsino, by the way. So uh, there you have it. So Orsino's supporting this guy. Finds his work fascinating, the killing of innocent women. And uh, we'll see what he's doing. But just remember, Orsino's behind every bit of this. He supports it. And the books that this guy needed to continue his work, Orsino provided from the Circle Library. So anything Meredith might do to Orsino is justified from this point forth. Just saying, as much of a lunatic as she is, um, at least her reactions aren't so fanatical as they might have once seemed. If she smelled danger in every corner, it's because it was there. I can't kill this guy painfully enough. It can't last long enough. I was wondering when you'd show up. Leandra was so sure you'd come for her. Mother always knew me best. Yes. And she spoke so fondly of you. What a lovely, gentle woman. You will never understand my purpose. Your mother was chosen because she was special. And now... She is part of something greater. There are people like this in the world, too. Have the same kind of thinking. Spare me the demented rambling. Where is she? She's here. She's waiting for you. I have done the impossible. I have touched the face of the Maker and lived. So that's the face of a serial killer when he's lusting over his victims, the face of a child molester when he's molesting children, the face of a filthy predator. Love. I pieced her together from memory. I found her eyes, her skin, her delicate fingers. And at last, her face. Oh. This beautiful face. I searched far and wide to find you again, beloved. And no force on this earth will part us. Don't defend a mage to me. Seriously, question yourself if you feel the need to do so. This is one time where during this fight, I was actually angry. I'm surprised I didn't break my controller, I was hitting the button so hard. I will not excuse the Templar's actions against the innocent. I can understand the Templar's reasoning behind a lot of their actions, though. And I'm not speaking of the common thugs. Notice the names over each of these desire demons. They weren't just sacrificed, but they were, they were bound to demons too, I'm assuming, like Alessa and possibly even my own mother. Yeah, see? Demons bound at the cost of a human life. A lot of demons here. This dude's killed a lot of people. just to learn the secrets to start doing his tricks before he started killing the people for their body parts. For every little secret a demon un unraveled for this guy, I'm sure there was a, a, a life to pay for that.
Mother. There's nothing I can do. His magic was keeping her alive. I knew you would come. You know me? I always save the day. Shh. Don't fret, darling. That man would have kept me trapped in here. Now, I'm free. I get to see Carver again. And your father. Do you'll be here alone. I should have watched over you more closely. I should have... My little girl has become so strong. I love you. You've always made me so proud. Notice her eyes are identical to the fanatics that Corypheus had possessed. I'm assuming the power behind Corypheus is also behind this type of filth. What can I say? Did you find her? I'm sorry, Uncle. She's gone. You were right about the flowers and everything. I... I can't believe she's gone. My fault for not killing that guy the first time I was there. Not chasing him down. Saw him run away with the staff. Knew it had to be a maid. Should have killed it then. I was too late. So you're to blame. If you'd been quicker or stronger, you could have... She could be... Why her? Why Leandra? The killer used Mother to magically reconstruct his dead wife. They had the same... face. What sort of nightmarish magic is that? Oh, Maker! Maybe the Templars are right. Lock the mages up. Throw away the key. Maybe so. No, maybe about it, really. Mages have always been trouble. They will always be trouble. True words have never been spoken. Magic's always run in this family. It's a curse. Now even your mother's fallen victim to it. That's fact. I wish you'd never told me what that twisted son of a bitch did to her. I wish I hadn't asked. I hope you killed him. No doubt. Good. I hope it hurt. Me too. I will deal with breaking the news to Bethany. You've enough on your mind. Take care, my dear. Arabalas, Marvinan. I'm glad you're here, Meryl. Leandra is in a better place now. She is with the Maker. Or with Falandine. You never know. Hmm. I wonder if that have, has relevance there. Don't strike out at the people who love you just because you're grieving. That's not going to get anywhere. Sometimes that's an easy initial reaction. Like our uncle had right there at first. Like, you could have, you know, grief is a powerful thing. But not so powerful that you uh, need to harm loved ones around you. Go after the ones that are guilty. I have a loving heart. I have uh, maybe more compassion than I should, even at times, for those who warrant compassion. But for those who don't, um, in compassion for those who do warrant it, I have a s just a supreme, oh, oh, what's the word? Just anathema. I don't know. I can't think of a strong enough word for people who uh, cause this kind of misery. 
because they're they're defended and they're allowed to exist. Mistress and they shouldn't be. What is the fight? Always at your service, Miss Hare. I make you chalk mints. <laughs> Old sandal. Well, I could have ended it right there to really let it sink in, but I think uh go lighten it up a little bit. Go move around. Although I, I think uh Aveline has something to say to us, you know? In her own bumbling way, you know, in her strong jawed, stern way. I think she does care as much as she as much as she can. So let me go check in with some folks. There's, you know, little I guess you could say companion side quests. Isabella, my dusky goddess. You have buried yourself in the flesh of my heart like a worm in a red, red apple. You heartworm you. Oh, look, my friend is here. Excuse me. But I haven't gotten to the part where I invite you to feast upon my tender white flesh. <laughs> Do what? <laughs> All right, I think I'll manage. Speaking of romance, you're interested in Merrill, aren't you? I have feelings for her. Well, that's good. She always seemed a little lonely. I get the feeling the girl's messing in something big and dangerous. Look out for her, will you? Make sure she doesn't hurt herself. Isabella actually likes Meryl, which makes me like Isabella. And vice versa, so... its hinges, walked into the room, and <clears throat> I guess we'll finish this later. Have you got a minute, Varric? For you, I have all the time in the world. Actually, I've been meaning to talk to you. There definitely seems to be something between you and Daisy these days. So, what's going on, Hawk? You wouldn't bring this up just to gossip. What's on your mind? Shows what you know. I would definitely bring this up just to gossip. I didn't, but I would. Listen, as your friend, I feel like I'd be doing you a disservice if I didn't say something. Meryl is a sweet girl, but there's a whole lot of crazy in that little package. In all the time you've known me, have I ever given you the impression that I was turned off by crazy? <laughs> okay, point taken. Yeah, that's just your buddy, man. I guess uh, I have enough consideration to not bring up Mother. It's not the Varric's not totally aware of it, but uh, sometimes if you don't have something to say, just shut up and just be there. You know what I mean? I hate the insincere platitudes when people are obviously fumbling for something because they don't know what to say. Then just don't. Just be there. Or don't. You know, but... Uh, uh, sometimes you can do more harm than good. Sometimes the best intentions. Family. Et cetera, et cetera. You know the rest. Hawk. I don't care what else is going on. We haven't spoken about Leandra. How are you? My mother is dead. My heart's broken. I suppose I could say, at least you knew yours. But that seems more about me than you. I just have flashes of... And possibly long hair. But my father... Would you like to hear one thing? You've never talked about him. My father trained me in all the skills he had been forced to give up. He spent everything to get me into Kaelin's service. Do you know what I remember? When he read to me, stupid things, dragons and heroes. He wouldn't turn a page until I reached over and took his hand. That big man made every step of the story my choice. I loved that. He died of the wasting in a Denerim ward. Those last weeks, I read to him. I had to take his hand to turn the pages, and I couldn't tell if he was too weak or if it was the old game. He smiled at that, at his big girl. I don't know why I'm telling you this. 
drink. A glass for those we've lost. <sighs> All right, then. Benoit Dulac and Leandra Hawk. Don't let anyone tell you when to move on. Take their hand and say, my choice. That's all I have. I'll miss her too. No, that's sincere. You know, and there's something to be said for that. You don't just get over things. You can get around it and get past it, but you don't just get over it. You have a big car wreck in, in the middle of the street, you know. You can get around it and get past it. It's still there behind you. There's still cracks in the asphalt. Right. But you may be able to move on, so that's what we'll try to do. All right, hopefully we'll get into more fun things in the next one. Anyway, thanks for watching, and if you want to subscribe, click that button up top. For uh, the rest of this Let's Play up to this point, click that image there in the middle, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.